Hi there, welcome to the second training session of the MK Ultra Wideband Kit. My name is Guillermo Hortas and I will be your speaker today. In today's session, we're going to start by looking at the MK Ultra Wideband Kit Bring Up using your smartphone and the MK Ultra Wideband Toolbox application. Then we'll have a closer look at how the included use cases work, run them using the MK Ultra Wideband PC Shell application, and adapt both use cases in two hands-on sessions to showcase how easy it is to use the MK Ultra Wideband SDK. Finally, we will also present the services that MK offers relative to Ultra Wideband technologies. Let's begin by running the included use cases. As you know, the MK Ultra Wideband Kit allows you to quickly prototype Ultra Wideband based solutions and use cases and accelerate the time to market of such solutions. To add more value to the solution, the MK Ultra Wideband Kit comes with two built-in use cases ready to get you up and running as soon as possible, so you can quickly see what Ultra Wideband is capable of. These use cases let you have first-hand experience of how Ultra Wideband technology works in real life, requiring minimal setup and using just your smartphone. There are two cases in question here, the distance alert use case and the tracker use case. So let's see what these are and how they work in more detail. The distance alert use case example, provided as part of the MK Ultra Wideband Kit, showcases how customers can easily implement contextual actions based on proximity using Ultra Wideband technology and NXP Trimension Ultra Wideband ICs. The distance alert use case is included in the MK Ultra Wideband SDK and leverages the powerful features of the MK Ultra Wideband library, making it easy to get distance data from nearby tags. It runs in both the bundled MK Ultra Wideband Toolbox app for Android and the MK Ultra Wideband Shell for PC. This demo consists of two steps. The MK Ultra Wideband Shell 2 first scans the environment using Bluetooth Low Energy to identify surrounding tags. Once an Ultra Wideband tag is detected, a ranging session is initiated, below, is, initi is initiated between the shield and the tag. Then the shield sends notifications of distance readings from each of the tags that are ranging as well as the threshold at which they are located. So moving on to the other use case, the tracker use case provided as part of the MK Ultra Wideband Kit showcases how customers can leverage Ultra Wideband Ranging and Angle of Arrival AUA, to track the 2D positions of Ultra Wideband enabled devices or tags. This demo consists of three steps. Scan the environment using Bluetooth Low Energy to identify surrounding tags. Second, choose which tags should be tracked through the Ultra Wideband and third, monitor the distanced and AOA data of the selected tags. But before we get started, let's see what we need in terms of hardware and software. Thanks to the MK Ultra Wideband Kit, you can be, you can be running Ultra Wideband powered demos in a matter of minutes with just your smartphone. The MK Ultra Wideband Shield and the, MK and the Ultra Wideband Tag SR040 Come pre-flashed with firmware images to run both the tracker and distance alert use cases demos, so you don't need to take any extra steps to get up and running. You only need a smartphone with Android 6.0 or later, your MK Ultra Wideband kit, and the bundled MK Ultra Wideband Toolbox app. We'll have a demo in just a moment, but first, let's see how the mobile app works. The setup is quite simple. The MK Ultra Wideband Shield and Ultra Wideband Tag SR040 communicate through Bluetooth Low Energy to discover each other. And then they use Ultra Wideband for ranging to obtain distance and a dual antenna setup on the shield to measure AOA data. The MK Ultra Wideband Shield is connected to the Android smartphone using an USB on the go cable. The app has two main components. The Ultra, the Ultra Wideband Manager, which manages the communication with the shield and issues the appropriate commands, and the Mobile App UI, which the user interacts with. The Ultra Wideband Manager implements a TLV framework to carry the communication commands through the OTG cable 
to the shield and to receive the replies from it. The UI then presents the user with the relevant information, including an augmented reality visor and collects input from the user. So now that we know how it works, let's see it in practice. To run either of the test cases, the preparation is manual. You only need to follow these simple steps. First, install the MK Ultra Wideband Toolkit app on your Android smartphone. Then, connect the MK Ultra Wideband Shield to your phone via the USB on the go adapter cable. Then, power up one or more Ultra Wideband tags, SR040, by inserting a coin cell into the battery compartment. Finally, launch the desired use case on your phone and observe real time ranging and angle variable data complete with an augmented reality view for locating tags in your environment. The whole process is covered in detail in the MK Ultra Wideband Kit Quick Start Guide, so you can follow along as well. Now let's actually run it in a demo video.